I want to show you something adorable. I don't know if you can see this, but on a list of indefinite pronouns, among the list we have who body with a little smiley face. So last week I was teaching my kids agreement between indefinite pronouns and verbs. For example, each of the books on the shelf has been read by me, or each of the books on the shelf have been read by me. Do you know the answer? My junior high grammar students do. So anyway, I'm teaching them the concept of indefinite pronouns, and I told them a little story about my daughter Lana when she was two years old. We were um, walking around the neighborhood, and on the street was a stroller that had been just abandoned on the street, sitting there by itself. And Lana said, Mommy, is that somebody's stroller? And I said, Yes. And she said, Who bodies is it? So I told the kids this story, which they thought was adorable. And I told them she made up her own indefinite pronoun, who body. An indefinite pronoun is a pronoun that does not refer to something specific. So anyway, this story was something they thought was cute. They enjoy me sharing something personal. They thought it was funny. And it actually really helped them to remember and understand the concept of an indefinite pronoun. So I think that's a good general rule, that any time you can inject a little humor, a little something personal, in support of a really valuable, meaningful concept, it's a good idea to do it. And it totally charmed me that on their test, about half of them included in the list of indefinite pronouns the word who body with a little smiley face next to it to indicate to me they knew it wasn't actually a real indefinite pronoun, but Lana's made up one. <laughs>